The Bureau of National Investigation this morning picked up the uh, National Communications Officer of the Opposition, NDC, and uh, as to what the reasons were for his arrest, we're not sure. So uh, very quickly, let's get onto the telephone lines to follow up on this. Uh, Komla Kluche, our man, is there and is uh, joining us with updates. So, Komla, what can you report? Where exactly are you? Okay, so, Stephen, the, the Communications Director of uh, the Opposition, NDC, was... Uh, picked up this morning by some security operatives. But uh, what what I understand and, and confirm so is that he's currently at the CID headquarters. Uh, we we do understand he's there with a team of uh, about seven lawyers and then the rest of the executives, the National Executive Committee of uh, the NDC. As to the reasons Nobody has been able to ascribe anyone yet. Even his legal team and the rest of the executives are not speaking yet. And uh, the, the, the front page of the CID headquarters is, 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 is heavily guarded. What I can report is that there are uh, three armored details uh, that belong to the police, the, the SPU that are stationed here. There's a barricade uh, from the Sankara Circle side so that people, uh, supporters of the party, as well as uh, journalists, are not allowed entry right. into the CID uh, 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 side of uh, the headquarters. But we, we, the indications we are getting unconfirmed, though, is in relation to uh, his invite in November last, December last year over some alleged cybercrime. There were attempts uh, by the CID to get his phones to... Uh, uh, for them to go through, but he filed the process in court, uh, which we, we are told the CID has been unsuccessful at. As to whether or not uh, that is the reason for which he's been arrested, we are unaware. There's also a pending case, mind you, uh, last year or so thereabout, where uh, he, together with the national chairman, and then uh, one other, uh, have been going through the processes uh, with respect to some case uh, that is been linked to them. That case, however, is before the court. So it's uh, really unclear the reason why he was arrested right. this morning as, uh, uh, just after he was done with a television, uh, 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 a television interview. Uh, his lawyers, however, are in there making sure that he receives the best of time. But the CID itself has not been able to speak to the matter. They haven't offered any explanation whatsoever. I can understand no media entry into the CID headquarters. But the atmosphere around is getting a bit tight that there are supporters who are massing up here to show their support to their national communications director. All right. Uh, Komala Kluche, thank you very much uh, for that update. Yeah. So Komala Kluche is our man there. And uh, as you heard, uh, there is, we're told that there is heavy security presence at the CID headquarters following the arrest of the NDC communications officer, uh, Sami Jemfi, this morning. It's unclear uh, why he has been arrested after appearing on a local TV station. Police in December, uh, you may know, last year invited him, uh, the NDC communications officer, over some alleged cyber crimes issues. His phones have been seized since his invitation for investigations. And human rights lawyer Francis Xavier Sosu has been speaking uh, to us on his arrest. Right, uh, so uh, like I told you, there is heavy security presence at the CID headquarters following the arrest of the NDC communications officer, Sami Jemfi, Monday morning. We are not sure, it's unclear why he was arrested after he appeared on a local TV station. Police in December, you may re recall, invited him uh, over alleged cyber crimes issues and seized his phones who sends the invitation for investigations. Uh, human rights lawyer Francis Xavier Sosu has been speaking to us. So far, we haven't heard any reason. I, it's just a WhatsApp message I picked that says that Sami JP has been arrested after um, a UTV program. I, I was a bit surprised, just as many people uh, in the NDC. So uh, as a colleague, as a member of the NDC, as a member of the external legal committee of the NDC, I also decided to follow up to see what is happening. 
so that we'll see what support uh, he can be given uh, in the police custody. Clearly, uh, we are really, really surprised. But again, it's an election year. We know that uh, the ruling party will do anything possible uh, to kind of intimidate people who are supposed to be spokesperson of the opposition party. And I think this is not something we, we should encourage. This is not something we should, uh, we should allow in our democracy. It's very wrong. It, 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 it. Uh, condemnable and I think that everybody must condemn it. I think that all well-meaning Ghanaians, the Peace Council, civil society organization, everybody should be able to rise up and speak against this act of intimidation of the national, I mean, the, the, the national uh, communication director of the biggest opposition party. How do we bring the government into action? How do we call government action into, uh, into question? How do we question government? How do we hold That's human rights uh, lawyer Francis Xavier Sosu there speaking to us earlier over the arrest of Sami Jemfi, the National Communications Officer for the NDC.